Let's look at another important aspect of time in our Markov cohort simulation, which is the need to discount future costs and benefits. What is discounting? Discounting is the practice of reducing the contribution of future costs and benefits to the totals. For example, a cost of $500 in 20 years should not matter as much as a cost of $500 today. Why do we discount costs like that? Well, one, there's an opportunity cost of spending money now. If we have the money to spend, but we spend it, that means we can't invest it and have more money later. Alternatively, if we don't have the money now, then we have to stop consuming things that we're already consuming, or we have to borrow money at an interest rate. There's also the expectation that we'll have greater spending power in the future as we become more productive and technological advances enable that. There's uncertainty about the long term. For example, there could be very significant technological innovations that render the things that we're looking at completely useless, or there could be catastrophic risks, which mean that actually future generations don't exist at all. And then finally, there's this aspect of a pure um, time preference, um, which could be construed as the selfishness of the current generation, thinking itself more important than future generations. A quick note that inflation is not relevant here when we're talking about discounting, because we always use a single price year in our economic evaluations. So these things are all after inflation is removed from the equation. To understand how discount rates get chosen or why we might have a different discount rates for costs and benefits requires understanding a lot of economic concepts that are beyond the scope of this video series, but I've recommended um, a journal article that you can read if you're interested. Here's the formula for discounting. When the annual discount rate is R, a cost C in year T is discounted according to this formula. So we take the original cost C and we multiply it by a discount factor, which is 1 divided by 1 plus R, all raised to the power of T. And just a note, if the discount rate is 3% per year, then R would be 0 0.03. Now, you might wonder, should I be discounting continuously or should I discount each year individually? And you'll get a different discount factor depending on which of these you do. If you discount continuously, you'll have a smooth curve, whereas if you discount per year, you'll have this stepped looking function. Other than simplicity, I don't think there's a good argument to calculate discount factors on a per year basis. Because even if budgets do need to be set for a financial year, people are going to be diagnosed throughout the year. And for benefits, there's no reason why someone would value their health in 365 days time significantly differently from their health in 364 days time. But discounting per year is very common. You will see it very widespread. If you do decide that you want to discount continuously, then if a payoff occurs at a point in time, you can use the previous formula. Whereas if the payoff is accrued evenly over a time period from T0 to T1, this is the discount factor that you need to use. And that will involve calculating this R subscript C, which is the continuous discounting rate. Now, if T0 and T1 are close and the discount rate is sufficiently low, this formula will give you almost exactly the same answer as discounting according to the midpoint time. So you can go back to this formula and substitute in for T the midpoint of this um, time span over which you are accruing a payoff at a constant rate. I've got here a selection of discount rates that you may see in practice being recommended um, 
they generally range from one and a half percent all the way up to five percent um three three and a half percent are quite common some countries that you'll see here so belgium and the netherlands and poland have different discount rates for costs and effects typically when you see this the effects will be discounted at a lower rate which indicates a preference for investing in preventative measures so spending money now and getting the benefits later on The discount rates for health economic evaluations are typically prescribed by decision makers or best practice guidelines, so you should identify them rather than deciding what your own discount rate will be. Check whether there is a requirement to use continuous or per year discounting and then make your own mind up.